Greetings everyone, Eric here, and welcome back to another video. I literally just threw OBS up and was like, no, I need to record this. This is Lazy Nezumi Pro. I am just now learning about this software scripting thing. I don't know why no one ever told me about it. I don't know how old it is. I don't even care. This is an amazing, amazing tool if you're an artist. So... What this is, is it is a separate software plugin type thing. As you can see here, I have it open over here and it's always on top of whatever you're working. And it is effectively a tool that allows you to have a more refined control over your brush uh, or your mouse to do certain things. And it has a bunch of different presets and it allows you to do cool things. You can see here, it's showing it kind of in action right here. That little red thing is the tool doing its job. Um, so yeah, uh, Lazy Nezumi Pro is a Windows app that helps you draw smooth, beautiful lines with your mouse or pen tablet. It adds stabilizers, rulers, and scripting to your favorite art programs, including Photoshop, Illustrator, Flash, Clip Studio, Psy, and many others. I even hear people talking about, uh, Krita. And I believe it can work with almost any any drawing software because of the way it works is it's just controlling your mouse effectively. Um, but yeah, uh, the, why do I need this? J doesn't matter. You need this. <laughs> um, it's got a free trial, which you can tr uh, download here for 15 days use. Um, you can also buy it for $30. Now at first I was like, Oh man, $30 for just a software, man, that's, that seems a bit high until I actually tested it. And I was like, Oh, that's why. So this thing can do so many things, but instead of just talking, I'm just going to show you. So I got Clip Studio Paint open up right now. I have a simple uh, 512 by 512 pixel image. This is what I use for like um, doing some basic stuff for like pixel art portraits. This is how I kind of do my basic stuff. But anyway, doesn't matter. We are going to show you what this thing can actually do. Now, right now it's just set to subtle smoothing, um, which on its own doesn't do a ton um, it's going to be a very subtle smoothing tool, so you're not really going to notice it that much. Um, so I'm actually going to switch over to one of the other smoothing. Let's see. So let's go to smoothing massive. Now let's see if this actually, I haven't actually tried this one. Now you can see what it's doing. You see that little green pull bar in the center? Here, let me actually, let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, you can see it because of the black now. But you can see what it's doing is it's actually smoothing out my brushwork. And as you can see, it's independent of... Uh, the software, which is really great. So you can see here, it's trying to smooth out my brush, which is amazing. Um, ooh, here we go, pulled saw. But here's another weird thing it can do. Do you see what it's doing right now? Yes, that is amazing. It can actually have scripting built in. As you can see here, here's the scripting, and you can change what the scripting is doing. And in this one, it is creating a sawtooth. So Let's say you're doing that. Now, it won't do it if you're doing stuff like that. So you actually do have to drag. But look at that. It allows you to do saw teeth. Like, that's amazing. And as you can see, the, the like distance I am changes the effectiveness because it's just doing a script based on your screen. So the more I zoom in, the more the effect gets subtle because it's doing it based on my screen. So if I do it from like here, see? Isn't that really cool? That is so cool. Um, it's got all kinds of set, like a uh, pull Sigmund, which is doing kind of a curve pattern, um, sign. So it does a little bit more of like a sign pattern, um, pull square. So it can do patterns like that, but um, it actually has even more functionality. It has rulers and it has, okay, here's something really cool. Bezier curves. Look at this. Okay, so this is actually affecting my mouse right now. So watch. Like, I can't move my mouse outside of this thing. And I'm literally just using a mouse. I'm not using a tablet right now. But look at that. Look how easy it is to just create, like, Bezier curves and stuff. And look how the Bezier curve affects based on how far away from the middle part, which you can move by just doing this. And you can move that. Move that there. Move that, um, move that here if you wanted to. And then you can just and do that. And then as you can see here, as I hold control, I can move the whole curve around. 
Um, and you can do that at any point. You move the whole curve by holding control. If you hold Alt, it changes the tool. Now for this, it still moves this point wherever, but for these two, it allows you to rotate based on the other thing. So you can do that. And then you can hold control to move the whole curve. And now you have a different place for it. And boom, you can just do that. That is amazing. But you can also slide it along the axis. The axis. Like, tell me that isn't just so cool. Like, I don't know how... I, I don't know. If I'm the only one having a freak out moment here. But this is amazing. Because it can do so much more. This tool is so amazing. All right, so uh, now right now it's like here. I don't know if there's like a way from... Oh, there we go. Yes, you can change the destination. Okay, so I can click over here to kind of switch where its starting point is. So now here's its starting point. So let's go kind of uh, down here and watch. It, see how it's following it no matter what? Now watch what happens when I um, when I let go. Isn't that cool? It's now connected to the center of this line. Isn't that freaking cool? And you can obviously change the center point wherever it wants. So let's say I do it there and then I go like here. Isn't that cool? That's just, I just find that super cool. And you can see, you can also do it like this and it'll go to wherever you click and automatically connect the lines even if i'm not holding that button so i don't know like i just find this super cool and you can just do stuff like that it's just i don't know i just find that so cool um and you can even have it so it stops at the connecting point and stuff like that um let me show you another thing oh so you can do ellipse tools isn't this freaking amazing you can do ellipse tools it even tells you the degree of the uh of where your starting point is. But watch this. Okay, so I have it set to saw blade. Tell me that isn't freaking amazing. Like, I can't be the only one freaking out over this. Like, that is amazing. That is so cool. And that's not even, like, the coolest part. Like, there's so many other things. You can just do a regular ellipse if you want. Like, if you want a regular ellipses tool, you can just do that. And boom, a perfect ellipse. Elliptic tool. That is, that is insane. Like I, I get that you can just do that stuff by, I can just hit like you, I can go ellipse tool and then I can just do that and it'll work perfectly no matter what. But just the idea that it'll, it'll just do that for me while I'm in my brush tool is amazing. And you can just switch to anything. Oh, here we go. Fish eye left. Oh. Oh my god. Do you freaking see what that is doing right now? It is doing a fish eye lens. That is amazing. Like that is amazing. Oh my god. Like you can't tell me that that isn't cool. That you can just do stuff like that. You could do perspective. Ooh, what's this? Parallel lines? Oh, that is that is actually really cool. Oh, and then you just hold shift to change the... Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Like, that is freaking cool. Like, that means you don't have to use your software stuff. Let's, let's say you're using a software that's not, like, amazing with these kind of tools. You can just use this in every single one of them. All of them. Doesn't matter. Ooh, isometric. Really? Are you... Oh my god, that is freaking cool! Alright, again, some of you might not understand the, like, coolness of this, but like... Oh, I, I just hope you guys are getting as freaking, like, weird, or like, freaked out as I am, because... This is just amazing to me. It even has a perspective tool. That is amazing! You can do that. You can do that. Like, it just... It just does it for you, but in like the best way. So like you can do your your basic perspective stuff. So you can do like, all right, let me do a line here. And then because it's a certain point perspective and then I can go up. All right, and now we're gonna go down the other path. And we'll do 
our basic lines. Like, like, come on, that is so cool. And like, that's perfect perspective without having to open up any of my other tools. I didn't have to switch to a single other ruler tool or smoothing tool or anything. And like I said, it also has smoothing, which is extremely helpful because it'll basically allow you to have or create kind of a much smoother line than what you might be able to do normally. Um, and you can affect the position smoothing by turning up the amount. So let's turn it up to like 120. Like, look at that. You can see what it's doing now a lot more aggressively. And so you can make micro adjustments without it creating too much of an issue. Like, I don't know. Like, am I the only one finding that amazing? I hope I'm not the only one finding that amazing. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. I absolutely love this. You can save your presets. So you can make presets. As you can see here, it's done something different and I can make it so that that is the same. Now, obviously this is disabled in the uh, trial period, but you can just buy the license, which like I said, it is just $30. Honestly, I think it's worth it um, depending on what you do. Now I see this strong, uh, like, see, I'm seeing people like painting stuff over here, but like, I guess for me, this would be amazing for line art and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I just find this as an amazing tool for comics and stuff because that's my user point. That's where I'm going to use it for. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to check it out, I will leave a link in the description for this. It is literally just lazynezumi.com. Please go check it out and see if you want to use it and try it out. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more content. If you know of any other cool content or stuff like this, please leave a comment in the uh, comment section letting me know. Um, let me know what you guys think of this. Would you use this in your everyday work, you know, artwork stuff? Um, if so, please comment down below and let me know. Also, check the description for not only a link to this software, but a link to all my social media where you can follow me, where I do arts and stuff. And yeah, all that fun, fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video later.